Hi, welcome back to AA TV. This time with a collaboration with Clearwater Airsoft. And here's Mr. Clearwater Airsoft himself. Hello. Still the power Bucknell. Still hates it when I say that. I still don't like that. But too, too late. So today we are doing what we're we doing today, Phil. Today we are going to finish something that we started two years ago, uh, which is a BB test, but. It's quite fortuitous, the timing really. It's been in the forums and on Facebook quite a bit. Bio BBs. Bio too. BBs. Or bio. Bios. Because mm. bios aren't really biodegradable. No. Unless oh, well, well, unless you've got 60 degrees yeah. uh, and a humid conditions, basically an industrial compost. Industrial compost. But more and more sites are switching <laughs> over to requiring bios. So we thought some time ago we'd get six or seven or even eight brands of Bio BBs together, shoot them head to head, which the makers really don't like us doing. No. But we do it anyway. Yeah. Didn't go down well last time. The other thing we're gonna to do today is we're gonna run them through a variety of different replicas. So we're gonna shoot for accuracy and then we're gonna run them through some gas blowback rifles, AEGs, and a few other things, just to see what they're like with a different variety of gun. Exactly, I think one of the big concerns people have with them is that the old ones were a nightmare. Especially with gas rifles, they would disintegrate and foul up the gun. So it'd be interesting to see how these new ones actually perform. Cool. Well, let's go and see what we're shooting today. Let's do it. Oh, camera. Off camera. Okay, so these are the BBs we're going to be testing today. Now, Phil, spoke, just spoke, but these aren't the most exhaustive list of fire BBs. However, I think it's a pretty good spread, but... It wasn't the easiest thing to source. Uh, don't think I've been able to see, I've not seen these anywhere for a while. Yep. It took us a long time to get the jabs. Yeah, the longbows were The longbows were, were really difficult. These are brand new, but we've done stuff with psionic upgrades with the R hops, and they're really good. So to see how they are. It'd be cool to see how they perform. We both know about the ASG ones, both been using those ourselves. Arrows. Arrows, and then some new prop. New prop razors. Oh, and the, the six millimeter six ammo, which a lot of people said they'd like to see. So again, had to wait for them to come back in stock, which is why this has probably been two years in the making. So we've got options from the higher end, the lower end and the middle, kind of middle weight. Yeah. Um, and we'll see how they get on. Yeah, we, we've tried to replicate what we did with the normal BB really. Right, so one of the small criticisms we had over a highly scientific test last time, Phil, was that we knew what BBs we were shooting. So this time, Jo, my partner, has been around the corner and she's just gonna hand us a speed loader each of one of the one of the BBs and we don't know what's in them. Don't know what's in them. So this could be any one of them. So I'm gonna shoot 30 shots through my Marui, 20 meter range. Phil's then gonna do the hard work, really hard work testing on all of his really cool guns to see how they feed, run, and everything else. Let's get going with sample A. In fact, it's called Maracas. Okay, it's 30 shots of sample A. Now the best bit. Sample A, 12 centimetres. That's pretty accurate for a smooth ball musket. <laughs> smooth ball. I'm uh, quite impressed. Right, sample A, 12 centimetres. Now, Phil is going to tear this up. I'll be back. MWS. Oh, Maruri AKM gas blowback. We will start off with the new Maruri MP5 NGRS and we'll go straight into first mode. Oh, 
really is fair to say, they all fit very nicely. Tell Paul from East Men's Airsoft, you can actually hit a target there. Yeah, I mean, it's fair to say that that region was slightly larger than uh, 12 centimetres, but uh, I was aiming, I was aiming, uh, for the first lot was up here, and yeah. then up here, and then down here. Mm -hmm. so, so I got three groups, but I wasn't going for accuracy. Yeah. I was going for fun, and it's fair to say that those BDs fed, fed really well. Really well. Can I get a prize with that, Phil? Maybe. Sample B, Phil. Let's do it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Joe. Sample B. Sample B feeding. Might be a little bit stiffer. Sample B, 30 shots. 20, 20 meters. Fifteen. Max. Fifteen. So sort of on the X-axis, probably about 12 on the Y, isn't it? So, 15, so B is 15. B is 15. Uh, start with the AKM this time. Loading BBs with the mag. This was a little bit stiffer than BBA, uh, but only on this mag. The others seem to be just the same. So you said you felt a bit of a difference? Yeah, definitely. It was uh, MWS especially, it felt like even only the same point, it felt like I was hitting a lot less. Okay. Yeah. It seemed like there was a lot more divergence in the shots. Not as good in the Marui guns. Right. Or my Marui guns. Wasn't good in mine either. So that's the sample B. Yeah. What's behind door number C? Let's find out. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Somewhere in between, I can pull one off to the left, so I shall do the first and second. But I may take both measurements. So, first, we've got about 12 again. 12, and, and then 15. 14 and 14. So, 12 stroke 14 and a half. I'll have a look at the footage, and if I did fill it, then. So, how did that feel though, compared to the other two so far? I felt they were lower. So, they were same better. aiming point. Same aiming point, which is actually here. Okay. Um, and they, they were lower than the previous set. And these are BBC. So they're probably potentially more polished, so the hops can't grip them as much, mm. so I'm not getting as much grip on them, potentially while they're shooting there. But okay, so that's middle of the pack. Nice. Well, the same, potentially the same as, or in the middle. Yeah. I wonder what they were, it's interesting. Shooting the group felt worse than the result actually was. So it just goes to show that your perception isn't always the truth.
bit tighter. Let's go a bit tighter. Yes, so I was aiming top dead centre yes. for the MWS and then for the AKM and the MP5, I was aiming centre. So I think I got pretty good grouping up there with the MWS. Yeah, not far off the fence, right? Yeah, and then definitely better than uh, B. Definitely. I think. Do you concur? I do. I'm enjoying this. Right. Oh, yeah. It's interesting. This is fun. Always interesting. Number D. Let's see D. how we go now. There's definitely differences between the BBs, which is so yeah. always, always interesting. Every single mag that I loaded then, it, especially with the MP5, it was actually like there was resistance. Um, these have been the hardest ones to load into. A, I'm just going to do it on a single shot, and I'm going to do a few. Yeah, I've got to say, I am a little bit worried yeah. about these ones. Aiming point was the eight again. So you so see down to the right. It's down to the right, but it's also higher than the last set. Mm. I can't swap out fourteen centimeters, maybe a little bit less. Twelve. Twelve centimeters by eleven. Twelve. Eleven's the small. Twelve is the biggest by the looks of it. Yeah. Twelve. 12. So they're all doing. There or thereabouts. Yeah. Did you notice any difference between these and the other ones so far? I, mean, I, I felt like they were, I had flyers, but I didn't. No. But it felt like I had a couple of flyers. Right, let's see what the gas guns do. So these BBs so far for me, um, especially with the gas mags, they, they, there's an awful lot of resistance loading them. So I'm going to use the AK, because everybody knows AKs have really bad tolerances, even though this one's made in Japan, so it's probably not, but here goes. Dead centre, like I did for all of them. So I had to aim up then from dead centre to right at the top of the target to um, actually get a hit. A more vertical spread this time, but I do. I don't know if they're going over the top or underneath, but I am dead centre for all of those. I, I only for the last few verses of the end of the rest, where I was just aiming here, yeah. and then I felt like I hit it in the middle. Um, but I think that's pretty good concentration, really. I know I did pull the top Oh, definitely pull that one. Yeah. Uh, I, that was with the AK. I felt like I pulled this, but I didn't. Yeah, and I, I know I definitely pulled it through the AK. Um, but I think, considering I was really worried about it... So you, at one point, almost didn't want to shoot? No. Um, you know, they didn't give me any trouble in the gun. Oh, no misfires or anything. So, yeah. Option D. So I'm halfway through. Halfway through this halfway amazing production. Through. And now we're up to. And we love these. Ease. Ease, mate. Ease. Come bang some ease. Whoop, whoop. Oh, it's a lot smoother. Yep. Race through those.
only gone and torn a hole in it. I'm going to go out on a limb here yeah. and say that was really quite a tight grouping. A few outliers, but the most of them... That's within six centimetres. Most, sort of, most of them went through this. Yeah, you know, you're like... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like you've made a ring. So 20 of them. And blew the centre out. 20 of them went through the middle, and then there's a few outliers. So. But that is very. That's, that's really good for 20 metres. So the, the big ring's what, 10 centimetres? 10, and, and the smaller is 4, 5, 6. Seven. That's, that's so really still good. The, certainly the best yet. Yeah. They felt the best yet as well. Don't know why, we just did. I just remember to do a. So we're, we'll really count, we'll count the 10, but I just want to bear in mind that we did shoot 66% because we, we shot most of, them, most of them through the same, same hole. Which is really good because now I've got loads of space to play with. <laughs> so, we're going to start with the MP5 this time. Smooth loading in the mag, not as smooth as B I think it was, but a, an improvement over the last uh, test sample. So let's see, I'm going to aim for the top, top middle. I'm just going to go full auto straight away I think and this time I'm going to aim for the head. Yeah this buffer really does cycle quickly. And I'm just going to fly away with this because it's an AK. Yeah. Come here. There's not a single bit of residue still or any of them. They do fed well, but I think definitely work well in the AUG, F5. Less so in the gas guns, but that's still the best group we've got yeah. so far. Let's show as well the sort of difference that AEG versus gas. You know, Bring Phil and his mini cannons along. <laughs> mini cannon. <laughs> Phil, we're we, moving on. We are on to F. 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 Uh, on F for flipping good fun. Here we are on F. I wrote E on that one. No, no I'm just overexcited. You got overexcited. But remember, one. remember it comes back. Put F on it. Yes. Mm. Nice little house shape. Not bad. It's not a bad little uh <laughs> about twelve across. It's its worst. twelve. 12 again. Something pretty consistent. We're getting a lot of 12s, aren't we? Don't uh, forget to change it to F. So this is an F. This is an F. Thank you, Phil. You're welcome. In about 12 centimetres. Start with the AK on this time, just because I have to say, as a dive in the wool AR fan, this bug is really, really growing on me. I'm absolutely loving shooting it.
MP5 was up here, although I was aiming dead center. Okay. Wow. So I got like 10 hits maybe. Yep. Out of 72. Uh, MWS, I was aiming here. And they were down here. So if the MWS like them, that's, that's probably the same sort of group as you got. Yep. Uh, the AK was a low shot, and the MP5. Probably really? Just, just, maybe just the yeah. sights of shooting high or whatever, but. Yeah, so that was just the iron. See, so. it didn't really feel like. The MP5, I didn't feel like I had much of a, and I know that MP5 it shoots really straight. Um, so I was using it the weekend at Fireball, and it shot really straight, really far. Okay, so the sample F. F. Not our favorite. So we're on to sample G. The tension is really tension. mounting, it's we're racking actually up. getting quite interested in knowing what's what. I really, yeah, I really want to know. So we're using a bigger target this time, we're going to use the top half and the bottom half, but it should be fine. And I'd just like to point out, it's not that big because people think I can't hit anything. Oh, no, these are stiffer. Yeah, they're definitely stiffer in the Marui MGRS AR mag. Underneath his shoulder line. That's not, that's not bad, and I'd say 95% of them, obviously. Which thing I'm aiming here. <laughs> so that's quite a drop. What's that? So 11 centimetres. 11. Yeah, 11. And what was it, though, from point of aim to impact? That's 6 inches. You can see your units up there. I know. 11 centimetres. It's actually pretty good. They, they were quite stiff to feed. I'm going to aim for his ad. Okay, keep it nice and tight. 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 So, aim for the ad. Let's go. I'm going to go to the right of his helmet, okay? Okay. I'm sorry, comrades. I'm going to go to the left, um, sort of torso, left of the torso. Yeah. I've got to say, this AK definitely jumps more than any other. Well, true Russian doctrine, just maximum fire. I Saturate the area. How did you feel about those? Um, I felt, I think with this is because the AK really does kick yep. quite quite a bit um, and it is a lot harder to control in full auto. The MWS felt like it had the most control and the NGRS, the MD5, again, it felt, felt pretty good actually, I have to say. Okay, it's probably, probably the second best. Definitely. Second, yeah. second best trick. Okay, now. Our last trick is going to get it from the waist down. Let's, uh, let's hang him upside down. Yeah. And Fine, exactly. and there's a couple of little dinks. So I'm going to mark them off. Okay. Yeah. Little uh, semi Yeah. <laughs> Right, last one. We H. have made it H. to the end. All the way to H. One more. One I, more. Am, I am really, really interested to see. One more round and we'll find out how we've done. I feel like we're getting to the end of an exam. Yeah. Right, I have to... Smooth. No. Maybe my thumb's getting really tired.
and we're out. Scores on the board. Ten centimetres across Ooh, the line. Nine and a half. And then about nine and a half. five, maybe six. six. So that's possibly... I think that's smaller. It's nine and a half. Smallest group. Nine and a half. Nine, nine point five centimetres. These loaded really nicely. A uh, little bit janky, but I think the AK mag is probably the stiffest one out of the three mags I've been using. Let's see if I can control this beast from the east. It doesn't last long, does it? Let's fill the last BBs of Big Ooh. Test. Make them count. So I'm going to go for the top right corner. Okay. AK and went through his knee. So that'll be explaining those. I was over here. That's actually not a bad group, I don't think, for the AK. You know, if that was a man sized target, you'd have hit yeah. most of Then the MP5 went through his foot. And yeah, that was really good. And then the MWS, I was only in line here. Pretty much here. So again, you know, then. They performed really well, I think. Phil, I'll be I'll ready. Auto. I'll be ready to oh, God, find yes. out the results. Right. I'm definitely ready to see Let's what we want. Uh, a a is longbow. Okay, I mean they're not always easy to get, but that's that's quite good. B is Balkan. Um, that was probably the worst one. Not surprised by that. C is ASG. I think we both said A and C yep. were really good. That's 12 centimetres. So, so that, yeah, I'll check that fly when we get home. 12, 12 makes it 15. That was 12 as well. Uh, D was Ra New Razors. Uh, that was 12. 12. They were pretty good too. Uh, e is it Aries or Aries. Probably nearly the best with that centre blow now. Yeah. Aries yeah. Amoebas. Amoebas, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and they were pretty good on full auto with gas as well. Yep. Yeah. F. F is Jaffs. And they got 12. 12 again. And then over to you, sir. So H, which was 6 ammo. 6 millimetre ammo. Oh, is this one of the cheaper options? Um, do you know what? It was so long ago, I bought my car. I remember, I think about fifteen pounds a bag. Yeah, but certainly they did really well. They were level pegging with the with Aries. Uh, yeah, and with C and A. They had a nine. They had a ten. Yeah, and G is the so new, new player on. They were field. pretty good. So none of them. There was no absolutely rubbish BDs. No. In fact, all bar the Vulcans were pretty much in the ballpark. Yep. I would be happy to run any of them bar the Vulcans. Bar the Vulcans. Yeah. If I if I was somebody gave me any of these, then I would definitely not use them. But these ones. So that really inconclusive bio BB challenge has shown that there's not much more. So there's probably not that many manufacturers for decent quality PLA BBs in the world. No. And I suspect most of these come from the one same or two one factories. or two factories. Yeah. I'd agree. Right. That so was interesting though. I like that. Now yeah. I'm going to point out that these are the results we got on this day. And so these guns, your results may vary enormously from ours. Yep. Yeah. We're not saying this is conclusive. We're not saying that this is 100% scientific. But it's a good benchmark, I think. On that bombshell. Thank you to InRange for hosting us today on their amazing 30 meter returner range. Thanks to Phil for joining. You're very welcome, indeed. And uh, most importantly, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Somebody else on the range. Can let the police in this one? Yeah. Beep. You might just have to deal with it. We're on a range. On a range. <clears throat>
We're on the range. On the range. We're on the range. Yeah, but the panel now is a judge. How good a judge is Phil? About six inches. We're at to find out. But if that's the way it is, that is the way it is. That's the way I'm on. I like it. <laughs>